Hello everyone and welcome back once again to PAX and Recreation and today we continue with the Time Lord saga this was the, our Time Lord before it was cool Doctor Who! Who? Exactly! So, collector boosters now, just for it to be clear for everyone in case I don't know, you didn't see the last video uh, the last time we opened a collector booster from Doctor Who um, just a quick reminder you don't need to buy this in any capacity whatsoever. Maybe if you are like a super duper Doctor Who fan and you want to collect the cards or something. But again, if you want like a specific card, just buy the card. This is, yeah, I even as a Christmas present or as a any sort of present, this is a very expensive present to give. So I guess only if you are like a super duper fan of Doctor Who. Because if you just want the cards, for more or less the price of this collector booster box, which, mind you, has 12 um, collector boosters with 15 cards each, and you're going to get repeats and all that, versus for 200 bucks, well, if you're lucky, 200 bucks, if you're unlucky, it's more like 250 or something, you get the four commander decks. And you not only get functional commander decks, but also you actually get the entire collection because the entire collection is in the commander decks this is just nice art and treatments and sometimes the treatment is just foil so there is that so swamp in foil put it here the ninth doctor which i just recently learned that he takes a lot of hate apparently and i don't know i think he was just fine i don't know um Blink, um, Enchantment Saga. Uh, so for context, I am a little further in Season 2, so 10th Doctor, but still I don't have all the context. And to be honest with you, there's a part of me that wants to take care of this um, ASAP so that I forget the card, so that I don't get spoiled. I know what you may be thinking, which is, well, I mean, come on, is it that important if you get like spoiled? On Doctor Who, which is an episodic show, is like, well, maybe a little bit. I don't know. The lands are good, though. Not like, it's not like super lands or anything, but the lands are good. Adric, mathematical genius. See, white art, foil. This is just for people that never seen a, never has seen a Magic the Gathering card, or it's just beginning now because, oh, beautiful. Celestial Colonnade, land. See, there is a bunch of like cool lands in these decks the moment like a in this wave for i don't know how they call it but they sometimes they invent it and i wouldn't be surprised if this is called time lord foil special time warp edition or something um day of destiny also in weird foil perry brown which i don't know now the the special cards in tardis mode rose tyler not bad, very good in the commander decks. Not in foil though, which is weird. And the 10 doctors, oh, there you go. Here you have the two co-commanders. This is an explosive combination, not only in the series, but um, as cards, both are super duper. Uh, there is a link somewhere or below or something for my opening of the commander decks. Uh, it's a very long video. It's kind of a podcast more than anything and me talking about how, is, how this deck plays and all that. So. If you like that, jump there, if you like the sound of my voice. If you just find my voice annoying and my accent weird, then don't go. It's uh, it's an hour of this, uh, so save yourself if you can. So Island, the 11th Doctor. Uh, I sometimes wonder if, if a Doctor only lasts for one season, it's because people didn't like the Doctor, or, or maybe the 10th was an exception, or... I don't know, I'm genuinely curious, but I'm trying my hardest to not go read the Wikipedia. Nice, sorry. Because I know that if I go read the Wikipedia, I will spoil myself in, in one way or another. The Seventh Doctor. And I'm curious about the old Doctors, because uh, you guys told me to, to check the start with the Ninth, so the first season of 2005, 
and uh, I kind of commented on this on the previous uh, on the on the deck videos, but uh, I have to say that I am, you know, generally surprised. I I believe I've seen Doctor Who before when I was younger, I think, and I don't know if it's because I'm old <laughs> or what, but. I find it cool. I mean, my main worry, and I, I think I commented this in the previous video, was that it will look fake. I mean, too fake. You know what I mean? It's like, well, I mean, obviously science fiction, but there is a reason why most, you know, countries that are not the US um, do their, um, like, their fiction is like, you know, uh, retro fiction, like old time fiction, like, oh, this is from the year for 200 years ago or something. And it's because, well, we have the infrastructure from those times and we can make clothes from those times. So it's easy. And you believe it because it's people in clothes. It's not that difficult. But the moment you need to put aliens and stuff like that, it, it becomes, you know, even more if it's CGI, right? So I was, I think I saw some of it and I thought to myself like, oh, this is so fake, like, the uh, But now that I'm older <laughs> um, and wiser, I started to check the um, the the first season, right? The 2005 first season with, season with the ninth Doctor, and uh, I find it fun. Like it's, I mean, and the tenth is is uh, the, the next season, season two is even better, and I think I will continue watching it unless it re gets really bad really fast. But uh, and I have to say, I'm surprised. I mean, obviously the BBC has all the money in the world but they still don't have as much money as you know hollywood so they they try but they are never going to get the um let's see a dalek um they are never going to get the oh Daleks and cyberman in the same booster this is not a coincidence um they're never going to get the same level right as the as the us effects and it's not me hating on the uk or anything it's just because that happens with almost every country. Like right? it's just the way it is. Like Hollywood is Hollywood, and you know, it is what it is. And ironically, a lot of times the the companies that they hire to do the special effects are not from the US, but well, they have the budget and all that. So, um, and you know, it looks good or it looks credible at least. So I was worried, but the BBC shut me off because if you remember, if you consider. That Doctor Who, see, this, this is the, the, the land set. It's just a bunch of lands. Um, that the that Doctor Who is from the, the second Doctor Who, right? The second, the, the new one, the current one, is from 2005, which is, you know, a long time ago. Uh, I know that's, you don't want to admit it, but uh, it is. We're old. Um, like, 2005, I was watching Doctor House by then. Like, Ironically, uh, the 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 main ca the main character is another British man, but uh, um, and it looks it looks good. Like yeah, they are like they are tricky, but that's the way I like it, right? Like limitation breeds creativity. So the first episode is with the um, with the um, with the with the you know with the mannequins and the, you know the the. the the, the, the shop dolls or whatever you want to call them and yes obviously it's like persons disguised as and they try and it's kind of cheesy and but is you know is the right kind of cheesy like it works um it just the, is it 12th doctor david bowie like what's up because the 12th yeah isn't this one with electric guitar like again is it david bowie uh, I, I wish if I, like the twelfth Doctor was Doctor David Bowie, I will explode inside. Um, I don't know. I found it fine. Like, I, and I remember watching it, and I was watching it, you know, with someone else, and I was like, <laughs> "Oh man, it looks good," but you can tell it's two thousand and five. Like, and you know, but I was having fun. I wasn't like, you know, I wasn't hating it or, I, or anything. And then on the second episode, the BBC was like, hold my beer. I need to show this, this dude uh, my true power. And it's like the second episode is like, oh, this is a space station because it's like an, a private event and we're in the future and we're about to see the extinction of Earth. And you're like, oh, okay, that's, that's cute. But then 
they literally do this roll call with a bunch of aliens of all types and it's all practical effects right besides well maybe except the the the, the last human which is 30% practical, 30% uh, like 50% tactical, 50% uh, sorry, 50% practical, 50% um, digital. But it's a creative, it's a very creative idea, right? So, and I was loving it. And they were like, basically, they were, they were just showing muscle, like, oh, we can do, we can do special effects. Look at this, and all sorts of aliens and stuff like that. And I was like, man, this is cool, and. You know, and it was in the future because the previous episode was in the current day, so it was easy to fake it. But that one was in the future, and it looked okay. It looked very good, even. And and now I'm interested. Like I, when I saw the episode with the Dalek and all that, I was like, <laughs> nice. And it's like, yes, you can tell that. Like if I had to put like a like an asterisk so far, because remember, I've been I'm only like in the middle of season two. Uh, Yes, they 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 use too many like yes they you know a lot of cool aliens are humanoid so it's really easy to be like oh, okay that's a dude in a suit and at the same time it's like it's very weird that it's like oh everything is humanoid and humans are super important and the doctor has the shape of a human even though in one episode you can see that he has two hearts and. Um, uh, it's, it's like episode six, by the way, so it's not, not like a super spoiler or anything. But uh, you know, it's interesting, and it's like yeah, it's episodic, but they keep the, the story going with the main character, so it's like uh, it's like monster of the week, but better. And um, and there's some co continuity, like uh, things keep between episodes and stuff. I'm not even talking about the cards anymore <laughs> because. If you want to read one, you just read it, and you will see the prices on the left. Just talking about Doctor Who, because this this worked backwards for me, right? Like magic convinced me to watch Doctor Who, because I never watched Doctor Who, and I was was like, eh, I guess it's cool. I don't know. And mind you, it's not because I'm not like I am. I consider myself a super nerd, right? Like I, I like all sorts of shit. So it wasn't like you know, like oh, that's for nerds. It's like no, no, like I was okay. I had a little bit. Of I was scared that it was maybe too cheesy or it looked too fake, and in the cards everything looks better because everything is drawn, so everything looks re like that fits together, right? But I was positively surprised, like, like legit. Uh, I'm liking it, and uh, I really hope as the seasons go on that they don't see hey, the twelfth with the guitar. I, I really hope that they don't abuse the special effects because I can see Doctor Who advancing and using more and more CGI. And again, again, the first season, 2005, CGI. Um, it doesn't look that bad, um, but it is it, not as good as the pra practical effects, right? Like the practical effects, even though the Dalek has what well, is is technically a, a plunger in one hand and um and a thing for whipping cream on the other hand it has this weird sci-fi old charm you know that is like yes it's practical effects and yes likely you can do a poor man version of that that thing in your house with boxes and a and a wiper uh, a whipper i don't know how, say, how the thing is called the thing for whipping cream right and um and a plunger and it kind of works but that one is like i don't know it has this charm to it and it's interesting and uh it works so i don't know if that that was the plan of the bbc like i guess that there was like a mutual agreement so wizards if the bbc didn't believe you when you said like yeah let's do a doctor who set which let's be honest it was gavin just pushing for that shit <laughs> gavin was like hey yo yo we need to do doctor who because i mean doctor who is big but i don't believe doctor who has as many fans as i don't know marvel or the Lord of the rings or assassin's creed or final fantasy like again no disrespect to doctor who but you know what i mean <laughs> like and it's a very old show um but I, I can see Magic being like, yeah, yeah, it will be beneficial for both of us in terms of branding. It's like, yeah, sure. Uh, Magic just gets the IP. I have to say the cards are very well crafted in terms of lore and mechanics integration. It's like amazing. You can tell it was done 
by someone that really loves the show and you even have like very creative things even if you don't haven't seen the show the the mechanics are just interesting some of the commander decks as i say in that video the, the timey wimey one i just love how the way it works with time right you really feel like a time lord which is all i want for christmas really so um yeah and in my case it's all it, it worked backwards so i believe that wizard's logic here was like yeah yeah we will put doctor who on the cards and then all that people that like doctor who uh, are going to buy magic cards right and they're going to find out about this game and they're going to love it and i guess maybe but it worked backwards like i play magic the gathering i saw this and i was like well okay let me see and wizards put the bait even though i didn't buy them because of that like the bait was having the decks with actual good mana base not super mana base mind you it's not excellent it's just good and good deck designs actually so very creative deck designs and it made me interested because i opened the first booster the video is somewhere you can like i think it's linked i opened the first booster box and i was like i don't understand anything of this but this looks good as fuck like it's like oh time lords and time lord rogue and and there's a, like doctors and daleks and robots and like what is this it looks very cool right and i i only knew like the basics like exterminate sonic screwdriver um the um, the, the angels because of bioshock mostly and uh because everyone said like oh this is a reference to doctor who and i was like uh okay and you know i i don't know i uh, it's cool it's cool to discover things but it's funny because doctor who was always at my grasp to call it somehow and i was like yeah i guess one of these days etc but I, I was never sold on it until i saw the cards and i saw the illustrations and stuff like that and then i was like oh now i am kind of scared because you know when you love something and you, you sell it to other people and people discover it and you're like hey you're gonna love this part and this part well then i'm doctor in in super foil and um and you know you tell them like oh i wish i could go back and experience it for the first time like we all oh davros in uh, in foil in, in super foil i don't know the name of this one the sixth doctor this this type of drawing i'm not that that i'm not loving that much but uh, still the master multiplied and then alien rhino and cool like i some people told me like oh yeah you're gonna love these and the best doctor is the 10th the best doctor is the 10th and then again like i will appreciate any comments on this matter like any opinions because in the previous videos you guys told me no, yeah, yeah, check the starting the ninth. Uh, it's better. Like, like, don't go back. I know the you know that there's a bunch of lost media for the first Doctor Who uh, seasons and all that. And um, I was curious, and now looking at these cards, I'm like, okay, so there is a Doctor that is like fencing, and there is a Doctor that eats a bunch of gummies, and there is another that, and I, I just get curious. I, I like the the iterations, right? Um, but everyone is like yeah the 10th the 10th and i'm like oh, what happened afterwards and everyone like kind of you know you can hear the crickets and it's like so is the 11th not good is is the because i remember seeing the 11th on tv and stuff like that and then the 12th and the like i never seen the 12th ever so maybe the 12th was that bad and then the 13th which i know they they changed to to a woman and that was like a big drama because humans gotta be humans or something even though it makes sense that the doctor can just like be whatever because he's an alien guys so um but uh, and now the 14th is going to be the same actor that plays the 10th but it's not the 10th it's just the 14th and i'm like i know that everyone loves this actor but what's up uh, like uh, confusing and i think the companion is the same which makes it even more confusing and then the 15 um is already announced and stuff like that and i haven't understood yet the true nature of the doctor I, mean, I don't know if they ever explain it i don't know if it's like because they say oh, it's like the same person just changes like on the outside it's like yeah but they they behave considerably different like is that really the same person right like 
again, he's an alien and he's just a serious, like, who cares? But I'm, I'm fascinated by the concept. Um, I find it interesting. I, when I can say, what can I say? Um, besides that, yeah, I don't know why everyone, like, no one mentions the others. Like, so please give me your thoughts because everyone is like, yeah, yeah, after the, the 10th, uh, whatever. It's like, I stopped seeing, watching after the 10th and stuff. It's like, oh, come on. It looks cool. Uh, at least the things on the cards look cool. So I don't know. I'm curious. Plus, again, maybe people are just exaggerated because some people told me like, oh, then the ninth is whatever. You got you gotta get to the tenth. I'm like, uh, okay. But I saw that I, I I saw it from since the beginning. So I see I, I watched the first season, the ninth Doctor, and <laughs> you can even see this card with all this shit happen. And I like the ninth Doctor. I right? I mean, he was a cool guy. And the actor was cool as well. I don't know. Uh, the seventh Doctor apparently is the Riddler. Uh, the Riddler, for some reason, I'm curious about this as well. Um, Sarah Jane Smith, Doctor's companion, and a Dalek, and a Cyberman. The two biggest predators. And the last booster. See, when you talk, time goes by very fast. See, time jokes because Doctor Who. <laughs> So Swamp, the thirteenth Doctor, and it's very fun because the, the only thing foil is the magnifying glass, the only thing that shines. That's cool. Uh, Exterminate, which is great. The first Doctor, and I'm curious about this. If it's always the same Doctor, is the first Doctor the original form of the Doctor? Man, I really want to read the freaking wiki, <laughs> but I don't want to spoil myself. Talisman of Creativity. The Grand Sla Snarl, the Eleventh Doctor. See this guy I seen in, like uh, on in the internet and stuff like that. This is the one that says, uh, "Yeah, uh, I am talking," and like I've seen that. But again, just some memes and stuff like that. Also, it feels like after the tenth, like every Doctor needs a catchphrase or something, which okay. Uh, plus, again, I'm confused because the, in the cards they depict the thirteenth as like, oh, it's very scientific oriented, like it's a thing of that doctor. And like, aren't they all like scientific oriented? Because it's the same person, right? Like, again, oh, okay, cool. It's not a person. It's an alien. I, yeah, I get it. But um, well, this card, another card that you can't see shit. <laughs> Look at that. Oh man, it's cool, but still, Vashta Nerada. Cool because the black parts don't shine. Like they don't have the foil at all. Interesting. I don't know, it, yeah, I think it's the shadow, right? Yeah, shadow indestructible. Cool. The shadow doesn't foil. See, you can make this shit up. Amazing. Jasmine can. The companion of the twelfth, I think. And the second doctor. With a 500 year diary. And a soldier and an alien warrior so cool as you can see same as last time you have some single color cards but a lot of them are multicolored. which i think is kind of a requirement because some of them are very powerful and you have a bunch of lands the lands in these decks are cool so getting some of these is cool as well um but you get a bunch of lands so and i think that's by design like you get the cool lands and some other stuff and you always get two tardis cards um so you know it is um, it is what it is. Now, before we close, let's pick the best looking card from each color because I, al I almost forgot, 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 Jesus. Um, well, now I am kind of biased uh, because I have seen some stuff and this is a spoiler. Um, it's funny how they, they it, it is the actress, it's incredible, the, the, they cut it. Um, I think this is okay, but I think this is the best looking card. Uh, it's, I hope it's a very important thing, and I assume it's a spoiler, but which has me curious because if it's a wedding, can the doctor marry people? Like, is the same doctor even? Like, I don't know. I think the best looking in blue is ironically very difficult to, to see, but uh, yep. Um, in black, we don't have that many. 
So I guess uh, it's going to be this Basha, Basta Nerada or Basta Nerada. I don't know how it's pronounced. Because the shadow doesn't doesn't foil, and that's amazing. G love it. Like someone had to go and draw that thing, so the machine will ignore that part. Those are the details, guys. When you do that, wizards, I kind of like you again, and then you do everything else. Um, this is a flaming flaming tyrannosaurus. This is great. Uh, um, well, let's go with the RMS Titanic because it looks it looks good. Now on green, or in green, if I could. Okay. The heroic intervention I like. Um, I'm going with heroic intervention. Looks in, looks interesting, and um, I'm confused here as well, because it says, I have come a long way for you, exclaimed the sixth doctor. Naturally, don't expect any thanks, replied the second doctor. So maybe there's like a crossover of doctors, like Super Smash Bros. in, in the old seasons or something. But that's interesting because that means that they are different entities or, or technically because the time paradox, maybe in the first seasons, the different doctors were different people by design, but um, maybe not. Like maybe, <laughs> I don't know, I love theorizing about this shit. I love time travel. Or maybe it's because if you go back in time and you see yourself, you can help yourself. But technically, I don't know if that applies because the Doctor is a Time Lord. So technically, for what I understood so far, the Doctor, like if you time travel, it doesn't matter. Like you can die. It's not like it's impossible because time is set. So uh, the Doctor could, couldn't see himself because he's an an object moving through time so he couldn't see himself i guess maybe he can i don't know i really want to read the wiki or find those episodes weeping angel i think is the best looking one these guys are not very good looking like i mean they're not ugly but you don't have any in multicolor it's like oh man crazy in artifacts you have a couple like that are very good looking um and for that we have to be thankful like, I really like the moment, so let's go with the moment. It's very solemn, solemn simulacrum, which is also a card in this set. And then for the lands, we have a bunch of lands. And just, I think I want to pick this one just because of how batshit crazy it is. Uh, because all the wide art ones that have like the weird foil look good. Oh no, this, this looks good. Like four bowling ruins and then only the chandelier and the window are in foil. See, when you do that, wizards. I think I love it. Ooh, Sky, Sky Cloud Expanse. I think it's going to be that one. Rip the foil. Because that one looks good. Yeah, this guy looks good, man. Look at this. Great. Now for the Dalek. I think is for tokens. I think it's going to be. I just like copy. We're always going to pick copy because it's like all in one and it's just constellations. And I'm a sucker for constellations. So uh, there is that. There is a soldier here. So and. Um, and for normal lands, well, this doesn't. I guess it's swamp because these ones are like whatever. Oh, the island is cool. I like this one. There's something about this one. It just hits. All right. So, and that's the catch. Let me know down below what you think about the catch today. And give me your Doctor Who takes. Come on. I'm trying to get into this. I'm already into this, but I want opinions. Please don't spoil me. More than the cards already did, I hope, because I, I'm trying to not absorb much of what the cards say. Like I don't read really the the flavor text, or I don't like you know because I got hooked. It's uh, very interesting. So thank you very much for your time, and see you next time on packs and recreation. Bye.